Welcome back to Boring Reviews. Boring Land. Oh, Come just on. kidding. Blasphemer. Oh, Hello, my. Boring Review Nation. Kind of pointless. We know all things. All right, welcome back to Boring Reviews. Nick here, Gabe, the Night Watchman. And Gabe and I are continuing our music reactions as far as music that one of us has not ever heard before. I'm a huge rock fan, he's a huge rap fan, and so we're kind of blending that in together, finding songs that we haven't listened to because we haven't been living on a rock for crying out loud. Right. But there's just some bands, some groups, some artists that we haven't really experienced. Right. So if you missed it, I reacted to Juicy from Notorious B.I.G. Check out that reaction on the channel. And I'm gonna have my man Gabe here react to some Disturbed. And we're gonna start with a song that's not even from Disturbed, it's a cover, The Sound of Silence, very famous song from Simon and Garfunkel. Just a little bit about me and my music taste. I grew up listening to rock because my parents always played what we call the oldies, 60s, 70s, 80s rock, mostly 60s and 70s. And so Simon and Garfunkel is one of those staple bands that I grew up listening to. Right. Um, so many of their songs, Bridge Over Triple Water, The Boxer, right. I Am The Rock, all that kind of stuff. Great songs, beautiful songs. Sounds of Silence is probably, Sound of Silence is probably their most famous, I would say. It's been covered so many times. Now, Disturbed is also a band I started listening to from day one, their first album. Picked it up at Target or Walmart, whatever it was, and listened to the crap out of that. Stupefy, Down With The Sickness. Um, they And they do a cover on every single album. So this was their cover on their most recent at that time in 2016. Never heard of them. I'm like, Disturbed, never heard of it. Voices, <laughs> oh, great song. And you know what's funny? You, you mentioned all these songs, I'm like... And, and, like, I thought that I had a very eclectic palette. So, again, I'm Hispanic, as I mentioned that. Palette. So, I listen to a lot of his, <laughs> a lot of um, Spanish music, right? I listen to rap, R&B, I'm married. Fellas, if you don't listen to R&B, <laughs> listen to it, all right? Get the ladies. I'm just saying. They're not trying to hear all that rap stuff. So. But, you know, I, I've also listened, I thought, at least, like, I listened to, like, okay, Kurt Cobain, Nirvana. But that's the thing. I think Kurt Cobain grunge. was one of the... Yeah. The grunge was one of those things that was able to, 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 to traverse different genres of not just music, but different uh, uh, nationalities and ethnicity because a whole bunch of people know Kurt Cobain yeah, and Nirvana. Nirvana blew up. You know what I'm saying? And even, like, uh, what's another... Uh, oh, what's the name of that band? Oh, I cannot remember... Uh, Another grunge the band? Off, the, the Offspring. Oh, yeah, yeah. That. Yeah, I love it. And, and love then, that band too. like, Evanescence, because and I remember you said, hey, man, have you ever listened to Evanescence? The only reason is because it became pop culture because of Daredevil. Yep. They did the cover on that song. But if it's not specific to, like, a movie or something like that, or, again, Nirvana is probably the one band that no matter who you are, whether you're a rap fan, whether you're an R&B fan, rock fan... You know, oh yeah, Nirvana, Kurt Cobain, like that's how big Nirvana was. Everybody knows it, you know what I mean? Where I'm like, yeah, uh, who? Disturbed? I was like, yeah, I've never heard of that. Or <laughs> Now, Disturbed is a band that my wife, Jody, she hates because she, she says they're too hardcore, too loud, too crazy, hard rock type of thing. I absolutely love them, obviously. But it's interesting that your first introduction is them doing someone else's song, but their version of this song is just absolutely astronomical. I'm going to have you on your own time listen to the, the original of it because it's so different than what they do right here. But we're going to go ahead and check it out. Let us know. Let Gabe know. What are some other rock songs you want him to react to for the first time on the channel? Comment below. Please, oh, please don't forget to like and subscribe. The subscription is super important for our channel. And so many people are watching our channel, which we love, but not subscribing. So go ahead and hit the subscribe button before you forget. But this is a, a performance where they were on the Conan O'Brien show. And so we're going to check this out. I've listened to it so many times, listened to so many reactions. I'm excited for Gabe's reaction to this. Here we go. Please welcome Disturbed! The album cover. Yeah! Listen to that album a million times, too. I'd be surprised if you haven't heard this song already. Just this opening piano part. It seems familiar. Oh, darkness, my own friend. Oh, yeah, everybody knows this. Knows that line, yeah. I've come to talk with you again Because a vision softly creeping Left its scenes while I was sleeping And the vision
vision that was planted in my brain. Remember, he's a hard rock artist. I control right now. In the sound of silence, in restless dreams, I walked alone. Narrow streets of cobblestone Neath the halo of a street lamp I turned my collar to cold and damp When my eyes were stared By the flash of a neon light That split in the night Awesome. And touch the sound of silence And in the naked light I saw Ten thousand people, maybe more People talking without speaking People hearing Man. No oh, man, you have no idea. Disturb the silence of silence. For say it, I you do not know. Silence like a cancer grows. Hear my words and So his story too, I believe his first name is David for the Disturbed Group. They've been around since the, the late 90s, I would say, early 2000s. His story is amazing too. I watched a video of him talking about it. And I think before he got into music, like he was dealing with some seriously low points. And it was music that brought him out of it. But what would you think about that performance, that song? So first and foremost, the live performance right there, the very first thing I thought is this guy is uber talented. Yeah. And it's what I mean by that is he was able to hit notes that a very few singers can hit. Like at the end, that was Andrea Bocelli. Like when he Clinic. hits that, oh, holy cow. And then, you know, he's so reserved in the beginning yep. and, you know, he's hitting notes. He's got that, that, that tone. But then like, I, I, th I think about the third verse is when he started, in, you know, now, um, mm -hmm. using utilizing that more rock hard, you know what I mean, yeah. uh, um, voice, which is also hard to do, which a lot of people don't realize that as well. Like the guy's got an amazing voice, but you know, with rock, it's more like you know trying to be hard and, and trying to get you know m be more edgy. So he's super talented. Obviously, you saw the rest of the band there; they were all playing. One was playing the drums, yeah, the old school orchestra, drums, orchestra. So that 
I never, the minute I started listening to it, like 30 seconds in, not even, I was like, wait, I've never actually heard the whole song. That was the first thing that hit me. I've never heard the <laughs> whole song. I was wondering, like, once it started playing, like, is he, oh, I've heard this before, but I was wondering if you heard it past the first few I, lines. I've never heard it past the hello, darkness, my old friend. And then I, I don't even know the second verse. Uh, here uh, to see you again. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's something here to see you again. And that's about it. Like, I had not ever heard the, the, the whole thing. So I'm like, listening to it, trying to concentrate on the words, but then just thinking to myself, like at first he was so reserved with the with, with the way he's dressed with the bald head, and then when he moves over, then you see like the the lip rings or whatever. Like yeah. okay, like yeah, I can see him now being a rocker, <laughs> but this was like the furthest thing from that. He does give you a little bit of that, like you know, once he the third verse kicks in, and then at the end, just when he hits those notes, like bro, that was like impressive. This dude has the pipes, the vocal pipes to hit. Basically, is it the ah oh, the highest one is the um. I studied it. I, I learned about this when I was in college so, so long ago. It's uh, the ranges. So is it, uh, oh, wow. Altos, sopranos. I, I I can't remember which one it is. But I mean, when he hit that, like, oh, at the end, like, the, oh, wow. Chills. You know what I mean? Like, the dude's really good. The dude's really good. I'm, I'm excited for you to listen, whether we react to it here or you listen to it on your own, some of their uh, their famous original songs that they've written. Like I said, in every album they come out with, there's always a different cover. This one, by far, being the most popular of them. I think in the first one, it was Shout. Shout, shout, let it all out. You know, that's, I think it's a Duran Duran. I don't know who the original artist is, but these are the things I can do with that. You is it that like song? The, that you make me want to shout? No. That, okay. Uh, it's, uh, I, mean, I, I did a horrible one. version of it, <laughs> but they do a cover on each one. And this one obviously blew up, but that album that he showed, that cover, so many amazing songs on there. 10,000 Fists in the Air, just from the top of my mind. They have a great song called uh, DFI, which is so great. Talking about politicians and how we make them like gods, basically. And right. They said it, so it has to be or whatever. It's uh, it's amazing, amazing songs. There's so many Sons of Plunder, so many other songs on that album that I'm excited for you to listen to. But these are things that you know I have to listen to without Jody around because she just she's not her style. The <laughs> Metallica was my first love as far as music goes. She doesn't like listening to Metallica. We gotta have you react to some of that as well. Let me ask you, Disturbed. What is their best song? Like I know you played this one for me, but what's it? If you were gonna introduce somebody to Disturbed outside of this cover, oh, what would you man. say is their best? And I know that's always really tough, but that's any artist, like, what's tough their best because, song? Oh, man, because they have newer albums. I would say their most popular one that put on the map is Down with the Sickness, right. and he does like these crazy things with his voice. <laughs> Like all these different crazy things yeah, as he's right. going along, and there's just once if you listen to the unedited version of right. it, there's a whole part where like 35 seconds he's talking about his mom and doing that bad stuff to him again, like yeah. crazy dark stuff. Wow, that's a but one of my favorite is Stupefy, right. is 10,000 Fists in the Air, and Sons of Plunder and Deify. Those are probably my first four, and three of those were on that one album there. But Stupefy to me is just such a great. Fantastic! It's their first track on their first album, okay. and it really kicks things into gear. Um, and I just like that word, stupefy. Let <laughs> us know. It's a Harry Potter spell. Let us know what you think about this reaction about Gabe here checking this out. And if you want him to check out some other ones, request those below. With all that being said, until next time. We know all things.